Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Only see the son of Nobe is my name and I hope I find you well. It's a Monday morning. I know that many of you were indulging during the weekend, but I hope and pray that nothing befell you. If you got injured during the weekend, we wish you a speedy recovery. For those who lost, who lost their loved ones, we say our condolences all the way to you. We hope that you're going to find peace and solace in the arms of our loving creator, regardless of which form of religion you might be following. Uh, I want to update those who are holders of the Zimbabwean exemption permit, that is in short the ZEP, or rather I want to respond to their concerns because we've been receiving a number of concerns from them, uh, especially from different institutions, most precisely the banks. I have had a number of people writing to me. Some have been some have been calling with their concerns that they have been getting letters from different banks. And one of the main banks that have been mentioned in this particular issue is the Capitec Bank. They say that they have been receiving letters that their permits expired on the 30th of June. Uh, that is this year 2024 and they've been called upon to make sure that they uh re, they, they, they formalize their stay that they renew their permits so these are zep holders you will know that zep holders were given up to the 31st of december this year to be in south africa while they're trying to move to one form of visa or another but now they are saying that they've been getting these uh, messages from banks. There are several others who have told us that they've had their accounts frozen by the banks. And they say that this is going to remain the issue unless and until they prove that they have new permits. So this is what I want to advise. Uh, if you are in that particular situation, uh, this broadcast is meant to advise you on what form of action you need to take to ensure that you don't uh, lose out on your savings, that you don't lose out on your accounts. But before I go ahead, I would like to request that you subscribe to this channel, you like this video, and you share it. Uh, so I have received a number during the weekend. I think I got about five messages from people saying that they received messages from Capitec that they've been ignoring, of course, because they were known, they, they, they were, they'd been told that their visas are expiring on the 31st of December this year. So they ignored those messages. Uh, some still say that they're still receiving them, that their permits expired on the 30th of June, and they've been given uh, uh, some grace period, or they've been given ultimatums, let me say, to go and renew their permits or prove that they have done something about their permits. So many others say that they have had their accounts frozen. So they want to know what to do in that particular instance. Uh, what you need to do is you need to uh, photocopy your ZEP that is on your passport, the one that expired on the, th on the 31st of December 2021. That sticker that is written ZEP. You photocopy it, uh, then you photocopy your passport, the current one that you have. If you had to change the passports, then you need to photocopy both of them, but also include the ZEP permit that you have, that the sticker or on the passport that uh, has the sticker. And then you need to download the letter or the statement from the Department of Home Affairs. You download it on the Department of Home Affairs website. It is under immigration. Then you will see there is a drop-down table there. You will see it's where it's written uh, ZEP holders. Then you download that. When you have downloaded that, you then take it to the bank. If you have applied for a waiver, photocopy that statement you got from, if you have submitted uh, your documents at ZEP at, at this VFS Global, they, will, they would have given you uh, a slip that shows that you have submitted your documents. Photocopy that one as well. And then take those things to the bank. 
they will rectify that. There are a number of people that we gave this kind of advice last week and they went to the bank and their accounts have been sorted out. If you have received that uh, notification from Capitec Bank or any other bank and you are a ZEP holder, but they haven't yet frozen your account, do the same thing. Just photocopy your ZEP uh, permit, photocopy your passport, uh, photocopy that slip uh, that you got from VFS Global, then take down, download the statement from Home Affairs and print it. Take it to the bank they will rectify that because there is something called FICA where you need to be uh, in good stead in, to be in good stead in South Africa where you need to be legally in the country and everything else you have a permit and all the other stuff so this is the reason why the banks have been sending you this and they are saying that their systems are automatic so once a system is automatic, it can automatically deal with you without uh, any human uh, activity there. So they are saying that their systems will detect that a certain permit is expiring on, the, on a certain time period or uh, that it has expired and then it affects that. But now they will deal with that. They have rectified for a number of people. We spoke to them on Friday. They say that, of course, these notifications are going out, but they didn't know that there are people who've had their accounts frozen. So they say that this is the kind of stuff that you need to bring. If you haven't yet applied for a waiver, just uh, go to the bank with that statement and everything else that I said you should uh, photocopy and take those to the bank. They will rectify that. But as we have always been uh, warning you, for you to avoid the, any form of inconvenience, make sure that if you're on a ZEP, you have done something towards formalizing your stay or extending your stays here, your stay here, because the 31st of December that you think is very far is actually very near, and nothing is guaranteed in this life. You may find that uh, by the time you want to apply for your waiver or your next permit, you may find that you don't have the money, and at the end of the day, you miss out. Or you lose your passport just before and you need to go and apply for a new one. But if you have already applied for a waiver or have been granted a waiver and then you lose your passport, you still have a grace period. You can go and apply for your passport and whenever you get it, you can then continue with the process. But now imagine you lose your passport on the 30th of November, 31st of October, and you try and apply for a new one. You haven't applied for the waiver that you need to apply for or a, an extension of the ZEP that you, might, you need to apply for or a mainstream permit after you've been granted a waiver and then you have to start afresh so to avoid those forms of inconvenience because you don't know what is going to happen after the 31st of December or prior to the 31st of December just a few months before and you find yourself in this kind of inconvenience that is why we always encourage people to not sit on their laurels but make sure that whatever grace period you've been given, you take advantage of that and you apply for a new form of permit so that you remain waiting but already having done whatever is humanly possible on your part to get a new form of visa. So I hope that we have advised you or have responded to your concerns, especially if you've received these letters from a bank threatening to close your account or if you've had an, an account closed by the bank frozen let me say by your bank this is what you need to do just photocopy those things and print the statement from the department of home affairs then take them to your bank to your nearest branch of your bank there are some who say that the front office managers have failed to assist them and they've had to ask for managers in those particular branches if push comes to shove or when push come to shove, comes to shove ask to see the manager of that particular branch, they are going to rectify that because they have these things in their system. Well, all that they need to do is to check with the Department of Home Affairs because this there is, they have access to the website of the Department of Home Affairs and they can see that statement and download it for themselves. But in order for you, because you may find that their network might be a challenge there at that particular time when you get there. So for you to be uh, in a good position, 
to not waste your time. Just print that statement on your own. Photocopy the stuff that I said you should photocopy and take it to the bank. They will help you out. Uh, if you still have any more problems or any more questions that you want to pose to us or you're facing challenges and you're on a ZEP or you need to rectify or to, uh, to verify certain things, just get in touch with us via the comment section underneath this uh, video and then we're going to respond to you. Or you can WhatsApp us on plus two seven seven three nine six two three zero seven five. Don't call, just text, don't send a voice note unless and until you've requested to do that and we have said go ahead. So thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it.